Okay, here we have the infamous Pulse by Lennox. Uh, I'm going to be doing a few videos on this old Pulse furnace. Uh, first thing we're going to do is an overview. We're going to try to figure out why this thing does what it does and what's the uh, uh, sequence of operation like. And that's usually how long it runs, and I'm going to go ahead and pull out the flapper and we'll take a look at that. Okay, this is what the air flapper looks like. I've got the cover off the front. Okay, here's the flapper. Now this is just the air flapper, it's not the gas flapper. Uh, and you can kind of see the other side there. Uh, looks like this thing hasn't been replaced for quite a while let's take a look at it okay here we've got the flapper apart now this is the, the actuating portion of this thing not looking so good this needs to be replaced uh, I'm not gonna replace it I'm just gonna piddle with it and see if I can get it to work uh, I'm not into fixing these things. I'm just checking them out. So, but that's what it kind of looks like. It's a fiberglass material. Gets a little closer. And you can see we've got an awful lot of black around this thing. That may be for other reasons. This is the other side of it. And uh I don't think it's going to work properly. Okay, here I've taken that air flapper and kind of cleaned it up. Uh, this part right here, I mean, I've just brushed it off with, with soap. There's nothing special. And this, the same thing. Uh, you know, like I said before, this is not really uh, repair. I would, I would throw this away. Uh, when you... Uh, Put this back together. You're gonna to put this silly thing here, and then this washer has got to be in here. In fact, there's different thickness washers for different furnaces uh, because that's going to determine how much that flapper opens. Uh, now, if you still don't understand, oops, that's upside down. Okay, if you still don't understand how they work, let me get a close-up here. Okay, this is how it looks from the outside. And uh, there's an inducer that's putting a small pressure in here, which is allowing air to pass through this thing. Because you can see that real thin... Uh, area there remember that washer I talked about and there's that little flapper in there right there and uh, it will allow air to come in there and uh, you know that flapper will go up against the uh, the plate here on the right side it, with a little bit of positive pressure in that uh, in that uh, from that inducer and air will pass freely through these holes here and out uh, and around into uh, into the combustion chamber. So when the combustion chamber ignites, that's going to put a positive pressure in there, which is going to move this little silly thing back towards the big plate. And when it moves it back towards the big plate, then it closes off all these holes and so it just sits there going flappity 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 uh, as long as this thing runs 
I've been told by some guys these things should be replaced every year. I never did that. Uh, it was more like three to five years that those flappers were replaced on that I saw. Uh, anybody out there that has different experience love to hear about it. Uh, but anyway, that's the flapper. Uh, yeah, the air flapper, not the gas flapper. I'll show you the gas flapper in another video.